Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. Today, we're going to talk about unit consistency and the conversions of AP Physics Chapter 1. The objectives for today are be able to determine if the units are consistent in an equation, be able to convert a quantity from one unit to another unit. First, let's see, uh, check for unit consistency. We can check for error in an equation or expression by checking the dimensions, quantities on the opposite side of an equal sign must have the same dimension. Quantities of different dimensions should be multiplied but not added together. For example, a, pro a proposed equation of a motion relating distance traveled to the acceleration and elapsed time is this, x equals to 1 half at squared. To check if this expression is valid, we can check the dimensions. If the dimension on the left is equivalent to the dimension on the right. So the dimension on the left, the left side is x, which is the distance x to the point on the belt. The dimensions on the right is 1 half at squared. 1 half has no dimension. The dimension for a is l over t squared, and dimension for t is t. So the dimension on the right is L over T squared times T squared, also L. So these two are equivalent. That means at least the equation is dimensionally correct. It may still be wrong on other grounds, of course. That means this number could be wrong or there could be other terms. Next uh, one, let's talk about unit conversion. When we do conversion of units, we use the same strategy as IC, identify the target units and the no conversion factors. Set up the problem using the given units and the conversion factors to determine the unknown. Note, units can be multiplied or divided like numbers. Execute, that means do the math and finally evaluate. For example, we wish to convert two miles into meters. Given conversion factor, one mile equals 1609 meters. This conversion factor means two things. 1609 meters divided by one mile equals to one, or one mile divided by 1609 meters equals to one. So to convert is to really multiply by one, right? So two miles multiplied by one is still two miles. So, but which one do we use to uh, choose to convert to from miles to meters? Obviously the one on the left, because this way mile and mile can cancel, you're, you're going to be left with meters. So 2 miles times 1609 meters divided by 1 mile cancels out, you have 3,280 meters. Note, the units are part of measurement as important as the number. They must always be kept together. Two examples, convert 65 miles per hour to feet per second. Given factor, 1 mile equals 5280 feet and 1 hour equals 3600 seconds. So again, this conversion means those um, six equivalent ones. So which ones do we choose to convert miles into feet? So we have to use miles into feet, the first one, right? The, the one, a 5280 feet divided by one mile equals to one. This way, mile cancels. To convert hours into seconds, we have to get rid of hours because for hour, hour is on the bottom, you have to multiply the hour on top. Okay, we use this too. 65 miles per hour times hour cancels, one hour equals 3600 seconds. Now, how do you get rid of miles? You multiply by this factor, 5280 feet over one mile equals to one mile, and a mile cancels, you have 95 feet per second. To convert 65 miles per hour to meters per second, we have to convert miles into meters. So this is how to convert miles into meters. Meters has to be on top and miles on the bottom. And similarly for hours to seconds, multiplied hour divided by seconds. So you should have 29 meters per second. Another example, the official world land uh, speed record is 1,228 kilometers per hour set on 10-15-1997. 
by Andy Green in the jet engine car thrust SSC express this speed in meters per second. So we have to convert kilometers to meters and hours to seconds. Similar concept, kilometers on top, kilometers on bottom. This way, these two cancels out. And hours on the bottom, hours has to be on top, so hours and hour cancels. So after you multiply all the tops, divide by all the bottoms, you should have 341 meters per second. Our last example, the world's largest cut diamond is the first star of Africa. Its volume is 1.84 cubic inches. What is its volume in cubic centimeters and in cubic meters? So given conversion factor is 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Another one you should know, uh, 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters. So how do we convert an inch cubed to centimeter cubed? So again, inch on top, you have to divide inch, so 2.54 centimeters over 1 inch. But this is cubed, so you have to cube the whole expression. So the bottom will become inch cubed. See, this expression cubed equals to top cubed divided by bottom cubed. So far, so good. Now, this whole thing is 2.54 cubed times centimeter cubed, right? On the bottom is just 1 cubed times inch cubed. This 1 cubed is still 1, so inch cubed, inch cubed can cancel. And the answer is 1.84 times 2.54 cubed centimeter cubed. So your answer should be 30.2 centimeter cubed. Next one, how do we convert this to meter cubed? So convert centimeter cubed to meter cubed. We use the similar idea. We, have, we know one meter equals 100 centimeters. So you'll have to cube the whole thing. So after you cube the whole thing, it's one meter cubed. It's really is one cubed. One cubed is still one times a meter cubed. So you have 100 cubed times centimeter cubed. So your answer is 30.2 divided by 100 cubed. You should have 3.02 times 10 to the negative 5 meter cubed. So it's that, that's how many cubic meters in the uh, diamond. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.